Hello, my fair citizens. My name is Strider Stone. I'm the mayor of Sodium City, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to meld Brasella Voice of Nightmares. Now, a lot of people don't even know this card exists, so definitely pay attention to the videos. The deck tech is at the end of the video. Let me know in the comment section below if you do like the brand new layout. We are still testing it. There is a poll going on in the community tab as well. So if you have any notes or comment suggestions, definitely leave them there as well. So stay salty and enjoy the games. Yeah, if there was like, if this had indestructible. I guess if I had a planeswalker that did things. I'm trying to think if there is a planeswalker that could even let me do things here. Um, uh, do white on that. I don't have any enchantment removal. Not good. Wandering Emperor. We just, we have so many four drops. No, I'm not splashing another color. No plans on that. Yikes. This could get dangerous real fast. Da -na -na -na. What would a Vakian do? I was going to Day of Judgment, but now I have to settle. And then I have to Day of Judgment. All rise. You got your baited. You got, you got your baited. You got your baited. But they get two. Oh no, they get two. They get two landfall triggers. <laughs> they get two landfall triggers. Oh no. I think we have to cut them off their card draw. I think we do. I don't think they have anything better. I think they suck. I think they have lands. <laughs> All right, they didn't <laughs> they didn't just have lands. I lied. I lied. All right, well, 
Landfall trigger, flying first strike, flying first strike, life link. Um, let's go ahead and get our scry on. Jesus Christ. Does it give it trample too? No. That's crazy. That was a good top deck for them. Okay. 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 I see. I see. I see. I see. See what's going on here. You got it. I block. Pokey. Eight mana now, so we can do Sigardia Splendor and Cosmos Elixir next turn. Dude, stop it with the gas. Can you get a land drop maybe? Could you get a land drop? Was there a 20 bomb sassy cat with the 20? Yo, let's go. I didn't read the second part of that card. Thank you so much, Sassy Cat. Did you just call Sassy Cat sussy? Like, thanks, sussy. You're like, that's sussy as f Sussy Baka. I can get another Settle the Wreckage. It says Vigilance. Okay, we're good. They could block with the Gargi to draw a card. Maybe question mark? To be fair, Sassy Cat's probably sussy as... I'm just kidding. Okay, I didn't get what I wanted. But... It doesn't give that thing trample, so I can just block with a 1-1. One, one. I think. I think. Yeah, thank you so much for that super chat. I really do appreciate it. Uh, leave my shit alone. Don't you dare fight my Bracelia that I worked so hard for. Nobody has ever seen this creature in real life until now.
This is the first time. How do you block with the Wait, can I not? Oops. The treasure. Does this prevent you from doing it? Wait, what am I missing? Why can't I? Could somebody please make it make sense? Second Citadel's secret ability, winning. I mean, I think I did have that on win. A push shot. How am I going to block with a 1-1? One, one? Sunken Citadel OP. Sorry, right. Selfless Glyph Weaver. That's a creature, right? It's three mana creature that does that, though. I know that's good. I mean, maybe it's fine, but I don't know. I haven't seen the I haven't seen the spoilers, but I will probably go over some of this. Wait, are all the spoilers out now? The market for some shenanigans. Did you come to the right place? No, your princess is in another castle. They don't have it themselves, so it's probably fine. I still have one mana open for Surge. Is YouTube back? YouTube should be back. That went out like 10 minutes ago. Shit. It did. Hmm. All right, 
Uh, so let's get one. Let's do that. And then, obviously, when we do this, they're going to play big creature. But we played two white spells, which gives us a card draw because they don't have haste on anything. Fuck me. All right. Let's see if all right. I came back and then left again. I don't... Don't know what's going on with YouTube right now. So if you don't know, the brand new set comes out on February 9th. Now, I would be out of my mind if I didn't put all of you up to a challenge. So here's the challenge. If we get 20,000 YouTube subscribers by midnight Arizona time on the 8th of February, which is where I live, then I will do a giveaway for a Murders at Karlov Manor collector's box. This is going to be available worldwide as the giveaway. I will purchase it from your LGS as long as they can accept online payments. And if they can't, there's another way that we can get you the box, but we'll figure it out together. So make sure to hit that subscribe and help get us to 20K. Now. I think it's fine. Sure. What the fuck? It's like every two seconds. Yeah, that'll work. It's like it says excellent connection, but it's not rude.
All rise. It did come back this time. All right. All right. I just have to really hope they don't have like a blow up everything thing. Mask with Nexus. What in the tar nation? I don't care if they kill that. That doesn't do anything. They tried to kill my scrotum, though. I would have surged. Thank you. I appreciate it. Back up to 20. Back up to 20. Again. Uh, I actually don't care. <laughs> I'm like, make them wipe it. I'll take a life. Let the melding happen. Just let it happen. After we took out more card draw and added in enchantment removal, we've lost. Like every game. But we've also been on the draw every game since then. We won one of them. But... We did win one. We have to have enchantment removal. There's got to be something else. Another creature enters the battlefield under your control if that creature has greater power toughness. Okay. So they are a creature deck that makes me want to play authority. But I really kind of also want to ramp into our card draw. And just hopium that we draw land. Do not draw land. I think maybe I should have kept up Surge of Salvation. Ugh. I will take the damage. Jesus Christ. I was not expecting to take seven damage from that. Tribute to Zawaldo. There's no way they're going to do 11 damage with this one. I'm losing life again. 
told you. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Two. Getting it. Boom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll take it. Card draw all day, every day. And life gain. More importantly, the life gain. More importantly, the life gain. This is three. Two top, lose. Easy clap. Yep, we take the life gain. <laughs> All right, they're going to they're going to have to draw cards. I think I'm a little bit too low. All right, you could draw a card. You could draw a card. Fine, 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 fine. fine. Angles. Do we want more? Where's the mark? <laughs> I mean, we need more. We have a lot of card draw. Do we have... We already have a tie, right? We're fine. Oh. All rise. You got your baited. You got you got your baited. You got your baited. What up, Rory? How's it going, baby? Yeah, you can draw that card. I just need... I mean, that's a good one. How much life gain do you think they have? I think they have a lot. All right, not life gain, but haste. I can surge this next card draw thing that they have. Do we want to do that? In <laughs> time for some settle action, always. So if you don't know, the brand new set comes out on February 9th. Now, I would be out of my mind if I didn't put all of you up to a challenge. 
So here's the challenge. If we get 20,000 YouTube subscribers by midnight Arizona time on the 8th of February, which is where I live, then I will do a giveaway for a Murders at Karlov Manor collector's box. This is going to be available worldwide as the giveaway. I will purchase it from your LGS as long as they can accept online payments. And if they can't, there's another way that we can get you the box, but we'll figure it out together. So make sure to hit that subscribe and help get us to 20K. Gotta love it. Dude, Tribute to the World Tree is a really good card. Do I don't think I have any other uses for them. Might as well just gain life. And one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have five mana right now. I should have played this. All right, so we could do that. I am going to do this. I might be a bit aggressive, but... We have our Bruna in our hand, which means we get it back. Another subtle must be good luck. As long as they don't double their power again. Oh, wait. Hold on. Am I... F Did I f*** myself? I needed to keep up subtle, didn't I? Did I need to keep up settle? I have no idea anymore. What did he say? 33 if this tax, that'll be the same. I don't really care if this dies. So I'm just bringing it back next turn. That'll work too. <laughs> yeah, uh, 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 go for it. Love to see it. Yep. We're getting a little bit of mana. The Karen wig? All right. We never did a ribbon cutting for BBT. Shit. Yeah, that's why he wants the Karen wig. What? I knew it. I knew they were trying to bluff me. Can't bluff me. Who the f do you think this is? Four mana left, so I have enough for a settle. I 
Um, let's discard. Probably discard that because I definitely don't want it. Um, just in case they blow up my splendors, I want that. Don't really need that. Don't really need another planes. I think we're okay. I think we're okay here. Can I kill this thing? I will protect you, Phyrexia. Please know until the end of my part is now finished. Rise, Phyrexia, and charge to victory. What? I mean, they were about to get settled. We were about to settle a dispute. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what O-ring is. Like an O-ring? Like a ring? Are there ring effects? Like they can only cast one spell a turn? Is that what you're talking about? Again, Oblivion Ring? I don't know what Oblivion Ring does. Why don't you just tell me what card you want me to add and what to replace it with, like I've said 500,000 bajillion times on this stream. That works, right? What if I told you that if you had a good idea for something, you could request it with a replacement and reasoning. You could you could use all of your brain power. You had a bad idea? I don't really care about bad ideas. I'm gonna have to do that now. I like bad ideas. Bad ideas are fine. Battlefield XL, not in permanent. I see. Skyclave apparition? But then I'm giving them. Am I not just giving them like f free value? Because of all my wraths? Yeah, I agree. 
Heliod's too good to take out. Why is two Skyclave apparitions better than two Heliod's intervention? Only spell. Okay, so we're fine. Sweet. If I do this and they have any direct damage spell, I die. I can't. I can't risk it. ECD would be better than Skyclave. Also very true. Okay, well, um, do you think they have another one in their hand? A third volcanic geyser. They had a third one. My life total can't change <laughs> until next turn. I. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. We're fine. Everything's fine. Probably have to do this to heal myself, right? They just need one spell, though, and that's both my Heliod's interventions. Oh. Okay. 
Well... Do we just... Do we draw? Do we do the thing? We're not dead. It's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw the card. We got to get our Galissa. Thank you. And we do this. And do that. Now we know they have the spell that will exile my creature, and that would be forever sad if they did that. All right, you love it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Forever? I love it forever. All you non-believers. Um, okay. I am actually going to do this, draw four cards, and then play my one ring so that I don't lose anything. So they can't f with me. Yeah. And we got a nice authority here. So even if they did had haste, they would still get <laughs> done. Oh yeah. I will meld. Discard. Uh I need to keep this. I can throw away one of those. Throw away one of those. Don't want to throw away that. Yeah, whatever. Please don't kill it. Let me just attack you with it. I just want to attack. Let me attack. They heard what I said. They didn't let me attack. <laughs> I was so mean to them. I was so mean. This deck revolves completely around two cards. That's Gisela and Bruna. And these two cards meld. Now, not many people even know that this card exists. And that's kind of why it's pretty cool. So, uh, Gisela is awesome. She's just four mana, four, three with flying, first strike, and lifelink. Now, having first strike and lifelink with four power is very, very good. It's super powerful. You're able to get a lot of damage in because a lot of people cannot block that. Or she's just a really good blocker in general. But at the beginning of your end step, if you control both Gisela and Bruna, then you get to meld into Brisella, Voice of Nightmares. Now, Bruna is really, really cool because she is a seven mana, five, seven, which is so expensive. But when you cast this spell, you may return target angel or human creature from your graveyard to the battlefield and has flying vigilance. This card does. So the cool thing about this is that Gisela is an angel. So Gisela is in the graveyard through something like Restoration of Iganjo when you discard it, or if she just ends up dying, 
then you cast this and you're bringing back Gisela. So at the end of the turn, you're melding them together and then you have a ridiculously powerful 9-10 flying first strike vigilance lifelink and then your opponents can't cast spells with mana value three or less. The good thing about that is that most people's removal spells are three mana value or less. And a lot of people's creatures, if you're going against an aggro deck anyway, are going to be three mana value or less. So a lot of single target kill spells are three or less. So they're gonna have to bring out something big like a whole board wipe, which they definitely will for something like this. But it is a very, very good card. This deck also heavily relies on lands. Now, obviously every deck relies on lands, but this one has a lot of utility lands. And Sunken Citadel is probably one of my new favorite lands right now because it does have that ability of tap, add two mana of the chosen color, which it you have to choose a color when it enters the battlefield, right? But you're adding two mana of the chosen color and you spend mana only to activate abilities of land sources. So we are using Tyrite Sanctum to give our big baddie angel indestructible and put a plus plus one counter on it. Uh, we have the hidden courtyard to do uh, some discovering. It even works with the ganjo to make it cheaper. Uh, we're also making tokens with it. It's really, really, really useful. And then of course we have Cavern of Souls to make our angels uncounterable because why wouldn't you? But with all of this, it's still a tiny bit dirtily because it does take a while. So you're going to need a lot of life gain and protection. And that's why we are running cards like Authority of the Console for the life gain and to prevent the haste, um, but also Surge of Salvation to protect us and also protect are a big baddie angels and then Sigardia Splendor because anytime we cast a white spell, since it's like a mono white deck, it's fantastic. We get to gain a life and then probably draw a card at the beginning of our next turn. And then of course the one ring is great because it protects from everything and then you just progressively draw more cards every single turn. So uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's perfect. And I want to give a huge shout outs to Kaufman underscore one over at Twitch for recommending this name and there were roommates and if you don't know the reference then you're probably too young to even remember what vine is but look it up if you don't know all right so if you do want this deck it is going to set you back 36 rares and 10 mythics you can get the list by clicking on the card that pops up at the top right hand corner of this video or you can get the deck list by clicking on the link in the pinned comment below or the text-based version in the description below. So definitely join us on the live stream. I do stream four days a week every day, except Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, both here on YouTube and over at twitch.tv slash striderstone. So make sure to share these videos with someone who you think would enjoy them. Do all the other YouTube stuff, like comment, subscribe, stay salty and enjoy the games. Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it to this point, it means you either really enjoyed the video or you fell asleep and I'm waking you up now. <laughs> either way, thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, come out with videos seven days a week.